guys, it's me, Crazy Crash King, and welcome to my first official uh, Let's Play for my channel. Now that, uh, you know, let's meet, let, let's mess around stuff like on uh, Muppets and that. And, you know, yeah, I was planning on doing Crash Bash, but I decided to do this since I really would like to do this. And uh, let's do it in Spanish, not really, English. Right, and this game has ridiculously long loading screens as well. Too many, in fact. Uh, okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about this because I really feel like I need to get this out of the way. This is one of the most obscure games I have ever seen. There is, there is no sequel for it. There has not been an, a lot of fan base. It is a very underrated and un, a very much never seen game before. And the fact of it is that it's so obscure, I just love it. But what is this game, you ask? Well, this is Hurdy Gurdy. This game is pretty much, well, a game about this kid here on this loading screen. Which, I think I should edit these out. I f I'll do it later. I'll do it in the next loading screens and I'll add some out. Um, this kid here is Hurdy Gurdy, and basically... You go out through the game in a puzzle uh, puzzle game where you have to herd all sorts of creatures for a tournament, which your dad cannot enter for some reason. You'll see it in a minute as we get to it. Because for some reason this kid is the only one who has to enter the tournament. Wow, that's fucking loud. Uh, hopefully that... Whoa, ah shit. I just turn it onto that, and I'm recording off my PS3. Uh, if you notice that the quality is a bit better, hopefully you should hear me. And this is made by Edios Interactive, or Edios. Hmm. This game has quite loud music as well. I'm sure I recorded. Cows! It's only been two minutes. Oh, a core design production. I think they're the ones who made Pac-Man games. You know, that's just me being weird, but... Right, and this game is... Kind of takes a while. I don't know, it just kind of feels like it goes on for a bit. Maybe that's just the loading screens, but... Sometimes it just feels like you really can't get through it enough without having fun, but I have fun with it because it's so different from any other game out there. This game is so freakishly weird. It's funny as well. <laughs> but... Uh, can I skip this? No, I can't. I guess I'm stuck here. <laughs> I guess I'll just let you watch either this cutscene or just... Wait for the introduction to the main character to come in. So yeah, I, like I said, I was going to do Crash Bash first as my first ever official LP. But I decided I really would like to do this game first. Just so I have anything else. If I'm getting bored of recording Rayman and Lord of the Rings, uh, I will do this in the meantime. So, you got this in the way. That sounds like I'm playing Billy Atcher now. There he is. Early Gertie, 10 years dad. old kid, and his dad has been... Dad, come on. This isn't spoiling a lot, but his dad has basically been cursed with a lazy spell, which I like to call it, where his dad basically will not get up. And now he has to, he thinks he has to go find help, but he actually has to enter the tournament for him. I gotta find help. With the help. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, come on. Another one? We haven't even played the game yet. Oh, here we go. Right, we're into the gameplay. Which is just basically uh, the analog stick to move. You have a jump button, but you think, wow, this character's useless. Look, you can only do that. It's like Banjo at the start of Banjo Kazooie, which Zach showed me, so. But yeah, he's not actually a platformer. All you would use this for is to get over fences and please don't tell me. 
Oh, and I would like to show you this as well. Hurdy Gurdy Drowns. Which will get annoying while, when playing this game because he can't swim. What? Uh, idiots. And which, weirdly, because you learn how to swim later, so... And I just don't, I don't know, this character looks so weird because it's like a tramp. He hasn't got any clothing on. And you collect bells as well, but let's uh, talk hey, to our first Gary, character. You ready for the tournament yet? First you know, NPC. Someday, I'm gonna be a great shepherd. A shepherd? I can't these dupes by myself. I bet when I'm as old as your dad, I'll be the greatest shepherd that ever lived. Hey, where is he? He's cutting things a bit fine, isn't he? I can't wake him up. He won't get up. Great animation. Jeez, didn't I just tell you I was only 12? You're gonna need some old folk to help you out with this one. Go to the village and speak to Grandma. They don't come much older than that one. I tell you, I don't think she's ever moved from that chair of hers. I bet she's been there since the elders. Okay, okay. Here's the quickest route to the village. See that green arrow over there? Okay then. I'll skip this, because it's just too long. Yeah, this game can get annoying because of those fucking long loading screens and cutscenes, but I just love it anyway. Right, and that was basically your first NPC, and he sounded 10, which is why I actually thought when I first played this, the, get the characters were 10 years old. When it actually says that Hurdy Gurdy is uh, pretty much uh, 11, I guess, or, you know. Right, and this isn't, I don't think this is the path, no, it isn't. Well, basically what he just showed you was like a little mini-map, and for some reason we just went into a weird camera mode. Almost like a second-person camera mode, as I call it. Uh, what, what do these bells do? Um, almost nothing. Why am I collecting them? Uh, my choice. My LP. <laughs> these bells, I really don't think they have an actual... a lot of use. You just use them like sometimes in the meantime but yeah just ba the, the kid just basically show you how to use your camera which I wouldn't be using that much but you know just in case I'm stuck Hello there. Oh, what's your name, then? English it's Gertie. Could you take me to the village I need to speak to grandma it's urgent well let me say oh. I'll skip this because it's boring. Anytime you complete an area of a herding, because for some reason you have to herd a lot of animals before you can leave an area, find one of these traveling will, traveling withering old ladies. I don't know, and um, you'll be able to leave to the next level, which. It's weird. Oh yeah, a little map here as well, which indicates where your next level is going to be. But since we didn't have to herd any animals there until later, uh, we were able to leave. I don't need a memory card because I can save on the uh, PS3. Yes!